Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between direct access and sharing a link. First, let me introduce you to the use case and explain to you what I'm talking about. So when you want to set unique permissions for a folder, uh, let's say a file within SharePoint, here's what you typically do. Right click, manage access. And by default, it shows you, you know, who currently has access. And here, this is where we can either remove, you know, certain members and add certain members. Uh, but there are two choices to add people, all right? Uh, there is this share option and then direct access, all right? So, you know, this option, number one, and this option, number two. So what is the difference between these two options? Which one should you choose? Let me explain. So technically speaking, they kind of work the same way. Uh, but they're also different. You would use um, them in different situations. Let me explain. So here's a use case. Let's say I, you know, uh, maybe, you know, I have uh, two members of the team right now, uh, Mary and myself, and I want to create unique permissions where I, you know, want maybe to hide this folder from Mary. So typically what I would do is this. I would remove, you know, essentially Mary is the member over here. I would remove um, you know, uh, the whole members group, maybe even visitors. So this way I'm the only one who would see uh, this folder at the moment right? because I'm the owner of the site. Uh, but now let's just pretend our members group uh, had, you know, five or six people, all right? Not just Mary. Let's pretend our members group contained five or six users. I just removed everyone, but I want to uh, maybe give, um, you know, one of the users uh, access back, all right? Maybe let's say John, you know, John is the member of the site, but you know, he lost access you know, to this folder because I removed the members group. I now want John back, just John, nobody else. So in this case, in this case, um, what you would need to do is hit this plus icon, all right? In this case, you would need to hit the plus icon and essentially, uh, you know, welcome John back, all right? So in this case, let me just show you what I just did. Um, let me uh, exit out of here um, so you can see it better. Here we go. I removed the members group, but I invited John back. I gave him direct access back to this folder. Um, however, when would you use share? Why did I use this option and not share? Let me explain. Share is for situations when you want maybe, you know, to invite users to a given folder uh, right when they don't have access to the site. So for example, let's say John uh, was not part of the site and I just want to share this folder. Essentially what this option right here allows me to do is the same thing that I can do from here. You see, again, you know, John is not part of this site. All right, John is not part of the site, but yet I want to share this folder with him. So John gets to see the contents of this folder and can access it without accessing the whole site. So in those situations, you would need to share file or folder with others when, when they don't have access to the site. For situations when they do, you would need to use this direct access. All right? Direct access assumes that the user has access to the site. All right? Direct access assumes the user has access to the site, and you would just use this feature to, again, uh, create unique permissions for a file or folder. Just like I showed you, right? I removed everyone. I invited John back. But again, with this option, the assumption is that John is part of the site already. He has access. He can navigate to the site, and then he can navigate to this folder. That's essentially the assumption here. Uh, if that is not the case, if John was not part of the site, then you would need to share and invite him. And essentially, uh, John will receive a separate invitation to that folder and the contents inside. So these are the two different, again, they kind of, you know, um, you know, technically speaking, they kind of achieve the same thing. Um, however, you would always use direct access when the user already has access to this, um, you know, to uh, the site itself and just needs, you know, maybe unique security permissions on the particular file or folder. And you would just share when you um, need to invite someone who is not a part of the team already. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you learned something new in this video. Uh, uh, that's all I really wanted to show you today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.